If this is called the old GRO in Port Harcourt, I wonder what the new GRO will look like. So guys, we're going to be exploring this city and this GRA in the city of Odako today to see how it looks like. In fact, it's going to blow your mind about the structures available in this GROA in Port Harcourt. So if you're new to our channel, you're welcome to Alin TV. Please do well to click the subscribe button if you're not yet a subscriber. And also turn on notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload new videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much we do appreciate you and uh, don't forget to give me your thoughts in the comment section at the end of this video yes guys so we are live in the city of port harcourt and this is ogroa as it is popularly called in port harcourt so i stepped into the city i drove around this place i was like is this where you guys call the ogra i would really love to see the new gra so if you are based in port harcourt let me know what you think you think this is finer than the new gra but just to mention i will try and visit the new gra just to take a comparison you know so let's go explore the city so it's quite beautiful and um, the area we are currently is not so far from the government house yeah the government house of uh, river state is actually located in the ogra and the police command is also located in ogra so we are actually within that axis not so far and the popular white and um, blue color is all over the whole place that's a signs that's the color of river state as you can see everywhere the beautiful thing about this old is the fact that everywhere is tired the roads are tired even up to the streets they are all tired and uh, beautiful lightning system even though i have an issue with Podako town in general you know the street lights are not working but in old the street lights are working and they are all standing and the whole road is well tired compared to some certain areas of the city so and the structures are looking beautiful even though some old ones here and there but still some of the structures are still looking beautiful yeah demolition work is going on in some and uh um new newer structures are coming up and just to mention as we get into the video proper we're going to do a tour of this old GRA and we're also going to look at the 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 NDDC layout which is a new layout just by the side of this old GRA to load just just to see the new structures coming up around there and that is the new residential area in the city of Port Harcourt so now we are currently just uh by the police um command yeah, so we are waiting for them to give us signals to get into the command area proper so just to drive around the command area they will take you down to the NDDC axis of the city just to mention again we have passed the government house those that was a blue blue sign you were seeing uh behind us the other time i was talking so if uh, you are watching this give me your thoughts in the comment section if you have visited port Harcourt before and you've been to this area also do let me know in the comment section and uh, if you are resident here tell me where do you prefer to stay the old GROA or the new GROA let me get your thoughts in the comment section and if for any reason you prefer one to another also let us know your reason in the comment section uh, is it cost of housing is it um, transportation let me know but from what i can observe in this old GROA is the fact that there are cabs little cabs that moves around the the old GROA yes and um, to me quite spacious quite very spacious rules they have around the old GROA as well and just to mention also the teaching hospital for river state university is also located in old GROA so i seems to wonder what is actually in new GROA that people talk about in port harcourt so we are getting closer to the ndc quarters the ndc uh, office their headquarters in the river state so just around here it is called the NDDC layout so new houses are coming up and people seem to be moving towards this direction now I think for those who can afford to stay in OGRA they move around to the NDDC quarters just to you know just to live around there and also to mention a lot of clubhouses a lot of uh, hotels is actually located in OGRA so most people who visit GRA who visit Port Harcourt that want to lodge you see that they are staying in OGRA or 
you are staying in Stadium Road for hotels. Yes, for hotels. So just Stadium Road or OGRA. So we are currently along the NDDC quarters now. So let us quickly do a drive around the NDDC quarters. This is the new layout. You can see that there is still sand here and there. You know, construction work still going on here and there. So that is the NDDC building you are seeing just in front of us. Yes, that's um, high-rise building just at our front is the NDDC building. So yeah. I think I'm capturing it better now. That is the NDDC building just at our front. Uh, this video is just, uh, you know, just to give you a general overview of what the OGRA looks like and the new layout coming out in Port Harcourt. And uh, I have a couple of friends who have moved towards this NDDC axis. They said the lightning system is stable. Um, the rentage, yeah, still a bit, a bit on the high side compared to other, other part of Port Harcourt. Yeah, but comparatively, it's still fair enough because you have a good road network and uh, you can easily assess town, you know, from this axis. Yes, and the street light as well around here is working compared to some other part of the city. So that is the report I got from those who have moved into this area in Port Harcourt. So if you have stayed around here or if you have moved here newly, also do let us get your thought in the comment section just to mention again if you are new to our channel you are welcome to alain tv please do well to click the subscribe button if you have not done that and also turn on your notification bell and i will be more than excited to get your feedback at the end of this video you know just to know what you think of potaco ogra to know what you think of potaco in general or if you are from river state just to get your thoughts also in the comment section i would suggest i think the only thing missing around this area if there can be a little trees planted by the center of the road you know those kind of trees that will just make the whole place cool and calm i think that would be interesting to see around this new layout the ndc layout that is coming up you know so that'll be interesting to see so around here is where they have their mechanic workshop along that ndc part so uh the, literally all the shops around there are uh, workshops and as you can see just a bridge but we are climbing on the bridge now leading to the NDDC we've passed the NDDC already but this is the bridge if you are coming from town that takes you into the NDDC uh, quarters proper so basically that is it for OGRA in Port Harcourt I can't wait to explore the new GRA so I can actually draw a comparison if the old is that beautiful i wonder how the new will look like so guys i believe you enjoyed my view of the ODRA and the NDDC quarters in potaco so let me get your thoughts in the comment section uh, let me know what you think in the comment section and feel free to also suggest for me the kind of videos i should make when i visit port harcourt i'll be more than glad to do that for you guys so anticipate my drive to to bayesa uh just for us to have a glimpse of what the road looks like currently after the flood incident so thank you very much guys for staying with me i do appreciate you give me your thoughts in the comment section i'll catch you in our next video bye